Hey honeys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in today. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. And today we're gonna do a stocking pile and stocking filler ideas. I actually have done, let me just grab them. I actually have done a his, oh, wrong way round. A his, no, I'll get this right, a hers. And a his stocking. Um, I took Dean along with me to do these so that he could help me pick out some boy ideas that maybe I wouldn't have picked, personally picked up. So let's start with his. Um, challenge was to fill a stocking for £10. This is last year's Poundland stocking but they do have the ones that are exactly the same size as this in store, just not this design I don't think this year. But so basically you could fill a stocking for £11 which I think is absolutely amazing as you can see it's well stuffed and actually with Dean's he has an extra piece that doesn't fit in so let's start with this one this is the Danish cookies and they come in this little tin it is so gorgeous it's it's um it doesn't look cheap it looks like a really nice tin that you'll probably see in Sainsbury's or somewhere like that. So these are a pound. They do have different designs that you can get um, But Dean loves Danish sugar cookies. So this was a first for him. This one here It's got a little bit squashed so it's opened up. Well, this is a little novelty item This is a crime scene. Do not enter toilet roll um, It actually comes like this it is usable toilet roll as well. It feels quite soft, although it's in a packaging. I can't really feel it. But, yeah, for a little novelty item for a pound, they actually had lots of little things like this, um, which is probably great for jokey kind of presents for teenage boys, maybe bulk out some gifts. What else have we got in the stocking? We have a tube of Sweeties and Dean picked Smarties. Um, I love Smarties. I love Nestle chocolate. Um, so yeah, these are a win. He also got one other food item and that was these little tubs of Millions. Dean loves the Millions range. Um, so he picked those up. Then we get on to like the gadgety little bits that he found. Now he found this little wooden phone stand but if I turn it round you can see just in there it has got like a little groove cut out for your charger to sit through so um, this was cute well I don't know if you can describe it as cute but it's um, a little gift that he will appreciate he likes things like this keep things neat and tidy so on that note He also got one of these. This is a docking station for the Apple range. Now he's not going to use a phone because he actually has the Honor phone. This will be for his iPod um, and it just got a little USB end to it so it can go into a plug or a laptop or things like that. So he picked that one up. He also picked this up. Now I wouldn't have chosen this. Um, it's not something I would have probably looked at but this is a little HDMI cable but with the um what's it called like the android charger ends so this can go into cameras and phones and display your videos up on the telly and um, which i thought was such a nifty idea um i probably use that to put family videos of christmas up on the telly in the new year um he picked up one of these this is a 120 ma power bank now these obviously haven't got a massive charge capability, but it comes with, I think it comes with a little charger for Android, yes it does, and it actually comes with a little keyring that you can hook it on. Um, but he said these are great to have in the bottom of bags, his work bag, the car, or like um, children's school bags. So if in emergency they always have like a backup. What else have we got in here? Oh, something tool related. So we have this little pen and at first glance it looks like a normal pen. But it's actually a multi-tool pen. It's got a screwdriver, a stylus, a spirit level, a ruler and obviously a pen. Um, I don't know if you can see that but there's a little spirit level, there's a ruler on top, I'm not quite sure where the screwdriver is on it, but yeah, 
that was um, a funky little tool that he got. And one last thing, and this is something I actually chose. We couldn't think of anything else that to put in there. Um, so I went to look at like the deodorants and the shower gels, the obvious things that you normally fill with, like everybody gets links and stuff at Christmas. But I saw these. Now these are their range of little aftershaves. Now I was sat there thinking, these aren't gonna be very good. <laughs> I went to spray because they had some testers. I went to spray. I ended up spraying it all over my hand because the little spray bit was facing the wrong way. Um, but it actually smelled really nice and all the way around the shop I could still smell it on my hands. And it hadn't changed scent or anything like this. This one is called the Addiction One and it's actually, I say small, but it is actually a 50ml bottle. So this is great for like wash bags or especially teenage boys or young boys who are getting into aftershaves and stuff like that but you don't want to spend lots and lots of money on them when they are still quite young so this would be a perfect gift. So that's Dean's stocking empty, let's get on to mine. So this is the stocking I chose to fill. And first off on the top are something that everybody wants at Christmas and that is a pair of cosy socks. Well you get two pairs actually, you get a pink and white and then a pink, white and grey one. These were £2, so these was this pound one had like the pep and co in, but I thought for £2, for two really soft pairs of fluffy socks, you always need those at this time of year. Something else you always need at this time of year, lip balm. These was little, these is a little reindeer Vanilla Frost Lip Balm, which I thought was a cute little gift for girls, women of any age. I also picked up Smarties, but I went with the pink ones because if my kind of got a girly girly, um, there's quite a lot of pinks and stuff in there. I also picked up something else that is great for any age and everybody likes to do face masks. Young girls like to do them with their mums and this is something that you could maybe make like a little pamper box for you and your daughter and stuff like that. This is a unicorn sheet mask. Unicorns are crazy at the moment so everybody would love one of those. I got a few little like notepad kind of stuff and I picked this one up. How gorgeous is this? This is one of those changing ones so it's either silver or multicoloured it's um, a little notepad, it's got three sections to it. So it's got one that's got blue that's a mermaid's tail. Oh. And then we have a pink and a purple like uh, mermaid scales. And if you put the pad together, it's quite a thick pad for a pound. Again, I use these for shopping lists and things like that. But again, girls of a young age would really like that too. This is a notepad, but this is probably more for um, either like teenagers or above because this has, it's a natural planner, so you've got planner section um, that's got little sec different sections in it, so, and then you've got work, um, where I began, who I am now, where I want to be, and then there's like projects, and then there's a little section called home that's got like well-being, relaxation in it, and then you've got a plan for like planning in the future and then at the back it's got a going out section so like for parties and things like that and then right at the back we have looking ahead and doodle pages so this is a gorgeous range they did have other pro other projects no other items in the same kind of color scheme well it is it's like a matching set you could make with these and it would only cost a few pounds but it's a lovely, lovely finish. You've got a gold and then the marble and they're like this peachy pinky colour. Um, and to go with that, I picked up these little pens. There's three in there and they match the colours of the little set. So this is something else you could buy to go make like a little stationery set for girls of any age. Last but no means least, this one was £2 but wait till you see the size of it. I just dropped it on the floor so I'm just hoping it's not broken. No, it's not. It's just covered in fluff from the stocking. This is obviously Poundland's range that looks like Jo Malone and this is the pomegranate one. It's got a little silver lid with a little bow on it and then it's just a one wick candle but it smells gorgeous. Oh, can't wait to burn this. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, they did have a hand wash and like a body lotion in this kind of style packaging, which again is absolutely lovely. You could buy all three for £4 and that would make a lovely um, gift. So yes, that's everything in my his and her stockings. But I just wanted to show you this. This is the bag that everything came in. And it just says, Panland's now in partnership with WizKids, Make-A-Wish and Tommy's, which is, I think, a brilliant idea. Those charities do lots and lots of good. I have been on the receiving end of a charity called... Um, child flight and they took every two years they take a whole plane worth of sick or ter not terminal but seriously sick children to florida for about 10 days and it was a trip of a lifetime um dylan when he was younger was a lot more poorly than he is now and he was referred by his nurses at the hospital and it was absolutely amazing to go. So these these kind of charities are so worth um, donating to. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. We are now over a thousand and I cannot believe we, our little family has got that big. <laughs> um, so here's on to the next big goal and we shall see you soon.